Hello, my name's Stephanie Waitman. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started using the Tattered Lace range of dies. Once you've chosen the die that you want to cut and your cardstock, you need to make sure that we're using the die the right way up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is check which way the lettering goes and place that onto the front of my card. I'm going to choose the position and I could at this stage actually tape it in place. I mean, however, I'm actually not going to do that because I'm quite confident that I can make sure it's in the right position. This is one of the two plates that I've got, and these are my cutting plates. You'll notice they're quite worn, that's quite normal, and these will, you can continue to use indefinitely. So I'm going to open up my card and place one of the cutting plates underneath so that when the, the actual blades of the die cut through the cardstock, they're going to actually stop on the plate there. I'm going to wrap the rest of the card around the back because I don't want to cut through the two layers at once. I only want to cut the one. And then I'm going to place the top of the plates actually on top of the cardstock. I'm just checking that it's all nicely positioned. It's still straight. It has just moved a tiny bit and then it's ready to go into the machine. At this point, if my plates are quite worn, I can use a metal shim, either on the top or on the bottom. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna cut it as it is. So place it onto the base of your Big Shot. And of course, this is the multi-platform that I've got here. This is going to give me enough depth so that when the two rollers inside actually come together, they pressurise the cardstock and push the die into cutting it. It's a bit like putting a piece of washing through a mangle. So I'm just going to turn the handle to actually push the die through. Now at this point, you should be feeling some resistance. If there isn't any resistance, then you need to put either your, your metal shim in or another piece of paper so that you can add to the depth. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards and that should be sufficient for this to have cut through. So I now remove all the elements to actually create the card and have a look at what I've actually cut. When I lift this off, you'll see that the actual image is still, or the die cut, is still in the actual design. Now all of these little holes are planned so that you can push them using a pin and all the elements will pop out but I actually like to tap mine just to start to release it. And you can see how easily those pieces drop out. And very quickly, it'll just start to release and then we'll be able to get hold of the image. So it's loose enough now for me to just pop my finger underneath. I'm just gonna tap that out. And these very rarely stick. It's just getting hold of that little bit of detail to just be able to release the die. So once I've done that, you can see how pretty and how special this is. All these little pieces are coming out and I'm left with an absolutely exquisite die cut with a special message on it, ready for us to pop onto the front of our card. Now I could be putting a piece of decorative paper behind this, but one of the design ideas that I absolutely love is the idea of this sitting just inside the card itself very much like the look that you're seeing on the high street at the moment. So to do that and hold it in place, I'm just going to move out of the way my big shot and clear the area so that I can then position this and just reattach it inside. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. So what I've got in my hand are just two pieces or two little strips of, of card that's got some sticky tape on it. And I'm just going to make sure that I get my die cut back in the aperture in exactly the right place. I'm going to just snip a tiny little tab and I'm going to use that to hold the aperture at the four little points of this label design. One of these is sufficient to hold each of those little edges in place. And because I'm using very similar colored cardstock, well, I've chosen a bright white, it's going to not show, so it's gonna be very discreet on the inside. It looks very neat, but when we lift up our finished card, it looks as if the words are actually floating inside that card front. So a quick, a simple way of using your die to either create an aperture, which we could have done if we'd taken out the lettering, 
or to replace the die inside to give you that luxurious, beautiful greeting card finish.